Hey everyone, this is Structural Steve again, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to model concrete girders in Open Bridge Modeler. So just like every other model step, we're going to start off by making sure the unit we want to work in is the active unit. So to do that, I'm just going to go to my Explorer, drill down into my units, and the first one I want to set is this unit one for the concrete girder bridge, so that looks good. And now I'm going to click on the Place Beam tool and select the beam layout that I want to model the girders for, and left click to accept. Now this brings up a fairly straightforward dialogue. The first thing you'll want to do is select your beam type. In my case, my beam is already defined in the Leap Bridge Concrete Library, so I'll just go ahead and select that appropriate one. And once you select that beam template, you're going to want to go ahead and select your material as well. Now the material is important for a few reasons. First, the material properties associated with the material you choose will be transferred over to LeapBridge Concrete for the analytical model. Also, there's a unit cost associated with each material type in the material library. And this unit cost can be used to help determine the preliminary costs automatically in OBM. Next, we have the haunch definition, where you can input the haunch manually or have OBM calculate it automatically for you. Now, this haunch is going to be the buildup at the center line of bearing and center line of beam. The OBM help document has a pretty good graphic to describe this. I'm going to go ahead and have OBM calculate it for me, so I'll check the box, which opens up some other inf input information for me. The minimum clearance is the minimum haunch or buildup at the low side of the beam, the top flange. And in my case here, this is just going to be half an inch. The camera value I input is one that is calculated by Leapridge Concrete. And that is going to be the net camera after the deck is poured. OBM will take these things into account along the vertical profile and the deck cross slope to calculate the haunch value. And I can say it does a very good job of this and I have verified the results on multiple projects. And it's always been within at least a few hundredths of an inch. So I'll go ahead and put that camber value now. And you can see my calculated haunch values will automatically update as I input this information down here. Now, in most cases, you're going to want to go ahead and keep this apply to all beams checked so that you only have to define one beam, and that can be used to define all of your other beams. In my case here, the first span on my exterior girders are going to be larger than the other interior ones, so I'll define that left girder first, copy that over to the right girder, and adjust the camber. Then define an interior girder and copy that over to the other interior girders. So I'm going to uncheck this box here, take this, copy it over to beam 5. And then I'm going to go ahead and update the camera value since the camera value on this exterior girder is a little bit different. Now I'm going to go ahead and define those interior girders. Check compute. Put a half inch in there for my minimum clearance. Input my camera value. And then copy this one over to girders 3 and 4. Those look good. All the other inputs look good here. And I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. Now I can zoom in here, kind of rotate around, make sure this all looks OK. I can tell that my template for my interior girders didn't get selected quite right, so I'm going to go back there and modify that. To do that, I'm just going to hover over my girders properties and edit. I'm going to go back to here. Yep, I didn't have the right template there. These should be FIB84s. So go ahead and select that. Hit, hit OK. And that one looks like that modified or updated. OK. But I need to go ahead and apply that to the other girders as well. So I'm going to take that girder and just going to copy that over to 3 and 4. And hit update. And there you go, that looks a little bit better there. I have my 96 inch girders on the exterior, my 84s on the interior, and that looks right. Now again, for this example I'm doing here in this bridge, you know, spans one and four are gonna be those pre-stressed concrete girders, and spans two or three are gonna be steel eye girders. So I'm gonna go ahead and model the rest of my girders on span four right now.
And that's it. And now I have my span four girders done in here. And all my concrete girders are modeled for this bridge. Now that we have all of our concrete girders modeled, we're ready to move on to the steel girder center spans, which I'll cover in my next video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please help the channel out by hitting that subscribe button you see on your screen now. Give the video a like and share it with others. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section and I'll do my best to respond to them. See you guys in the next video.